Welcome back to another episode in the inventory and crafting system tutorial series and today I want to do something that got requested for quite a few times already actually uh, and the thing is people are asking me how to make so that we can adjust the locations of these items in the backpack because as of right now well they are just simply finding the first available slot and then pl placing those items into that slot as you can see it's just uh, the weapon is swapping between the next free or actually the first free available spot so let's today make so that it would work just like for the player slot so that we can move the items back and forward uh, between these slots and actually this is very very easy and since this is like a tutorial series I'm showing you multiple ways how to do things uh, as you probably noticed the player slots backpack chest and shop are four totally different inventory systems technically um, so let's let me show you how to adjust the backpack uh, what we want to do is open up a few things just to compare so that we can see the difference let's open up our inventory panel UI uh, UI item data also then we need the UI player slot panel and the player slot itself as well because we need to find the difference between these two because this is the only thing that actually is holding us back kind of uh, we have one more pin that, uh, one more node that we need to change inside of our character but besides that these are the only things that actually does make a difference let's begin by looking at the player slots panel let's go to the graph and let's see what we have here so we don't have anything really here all we have is the uh, event graph and on event construct we are getting the player slots we are looping through all of those and creating the uh, ui player slot widgets and that's basically all that we are doing and if we would go to the player slots themselves well here we have quite a lot of logic we have the event graph which gets the information about that one specific item we have all the tooltip stuff drag detected background etc and also we have the on drop event which then actually allows us to drop the thing on top of this widget and then we do some logic over here well in our case we are moving the items around but if we would go to our inventory panel now we have an on drop event over here so our inventory the whole panel is accepting the on drop event and we never provide the slot index uh, basically the index on which slot we drop the item on top of because we really can't do that through the panel because the panel doesn't know uh, actually what kind of slots it really has we never store that information because it's quite pointless now if we would go to the event graph you can see that we are doing essentially the same thing we are creating the ui item data providing the index um, the only difference is that for the shop we are creating some empty uh, some empty slots and what i would suggest you do so that this system work properly with the shop as well so you wouldn't have any bugs so you so you would still be able to sell things here at the bottom where we have this switch for the shop we are creating the empty uh, item data uh, let's just type in the source and the source in this case well it should be the shop because there is no other way uh, that something else might happen through this because the position is shop on this one so make sure you do that and well that's the only change that is needed in the inventory panel now if we would go to the UI item data you can see there is no on drop event so what we got to do is bring the on drop event from the inventory panel to the item data so what I will actually do is Let's go to the inventory panel and let's just simply select all of this. Let's copy all of this. And then what we can do is just simply look for the functions and we have our drag and drop. We have on drop. So this function right here, simply select that and press delete because we are no longer going to use it. But we need to then go to our UI item data and create ourselves. Uh, right now we have only uh, on drag detected. So we need to add new override function and look for the on drop event so here is the on drop we create that we can't delete this node as of right now so move this up paste in what you copied from the other uh, from the inventory panel and then you can delete this one because this definitely needs an output a uh, return value it can't really work without it so let's reconnect the operation to the item drag and drop operation then we need uh, so this is a position as you can see it's not working because it, it's in gray uh, instead of position we have a variable called source which is essentially is the same thing so replace that with the source there we go and we also need the slot index so drag in just your index variable and plug that into both of those so one down here and one up here and that's basically all that we need to do in the widget side now the next thing that we need to do is go to our third person character because we need to replace only one node 
So let's look for our character. Let's look for our inventory functions and we have the move item function and the difference, the only difference is that on the first switch on local direction, so basically where the item is coming from right now, uh, actually where the item is going to right now, we are just simply adding an item so it looks for the first slot and it just adds to the first slot. So technically at this point, the system would still work in the exactly same manner. What we wanna do instead is let's drag from our equip backpack and we wanna do the same thing we did for the player and equipment. We want to add item to slot. We wanna add item to a specific slot rather than uh, let the system find the first slot. So now let's hold control. Let's reconnect our execution. Uh, I accidentally disconnected that. Reconnect the boolean reconnect this execution reconnect the item and then we can just simply delete this add item move this down and for the index we want to use our local slot index so let's uh, look for our local variables uh, or we can just simply reuse this one that we already have for the uh, equipment and player slots so um let's see everything technically should be working now so let's give it a go Let's pick up a backpack, let's pick up a bunch of items, let's pick up some different items so that we have some some choices. And let's see, so we have a pallet, let's move the pallet over here, over here. So we can basically move the items however we want to, we can split all of our items. We have the ammo, so we have one and 88. We can like move, let's say we wanna move 32. So there we go, we have 34. And here let's move, whoops, I didn't wanna move zero, I wanna move more. 25 and there we go so we can now split up the items inside of our backpack as well we can organize them in whatever manner we want so that's going to be basically it if you have any more questions suggestions or whatever leave it down in the comment section down below as soon as i get a chance you will see a video about that topic and i see you in the next one peace